Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale, this channel is Flipping Fiasco, and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. I am super excited about today's jewelry unboxing. It is a five pound thread up jewelry box from Georgia. And I will tell you, it is one of the best boxes I have ever gotten from thread up. It starts out slow, but I swear there's like three pounds of silver in it. <laughs> I just kept testing and testing and testing. There was just more silver than I ever could have imagined. And a couple of fantastic surprises too. In fact, if you are a regular viewer of my channel, you'll have seen a couple of spoilers already in my last two videos. So thank you for being here. Stay tuned. I know this is a long video, but it is fantastic. You're going to want to stay tuned. Today's five pound box of jewelry from ThreadUp comes from Swanee, Georgia. So let's take a look. I have not, I've been very good. I have not even taken a peek inside. It has been a while since I've gotten a box from this location so I'm hoping it does not disappoint. Oh I see what my problem is. It's very well taped. Ooh. Oh my goodness. More tape. I'm not mad though. I would be more mad if it was not well taped. This is again, oh, this I actually ordered on August 12th. <laughs> I was on a streak for a while there at the beginning of August. Here we go. It is a compact little bag of five pounds of jewelry. So here's our first look. Something fell out already. Oh, look at that. The bag is ripped at the bottom. So I think I'll just go with that and we'll start taking a look. So first is this adjustable ring. It's just plastic and not in great condition. So I'm going to put that in craft. All craft pieces are $1. And if you do see anything that you're interested in purchasing, you'll email me, dale at flippinfiasco.com. And we'll work out your PayPal information and shipping address and shipping starts at four dollars and then depends on your weight and location and I think that just about covers it. So this one, this bangle is missing um, one of the purple stones and that one's not in great condition. Um, I feel like it, it was meant to go with these, there's a whole bunch of plain, you know, I'm just gonna, I see a lot of bangles. So we're just going to group all of our bangles and there will be a very cheap price if you'll take them off my hands. <laughs> all right. Try to get this stuff out of the way. Where did that come from? Hmm. All right. So we have, besides the bangles, <laughs> we have this wooden necklace with, do you think they're supposed to be dogs? They, they almost just look like dogs. Oh, that guy's tail is broken. So that's a bummer. Um, it does have a barrel class and yeah, that's just going to go to craft. <laughs> Um, just some paparazzi earrings. They'll be $2. We have a little child's dolphin bracelet with blue and pink and green. Blue, pink, actually a little purple there, pretty. And green, blue. So I, I'm actually, this might actually be adult sized. Let's take our measuring and see. Yeah, so it's a seven inch bracelet and it goes all the way to nine inches. So that is just $2 as well. 
bangle, bangle, bangle. Do you want a bangle? I have a bangle, bangle for you. Holy goodness. They just don't want to cooperate with me either. We're just going to throw them all into one big pile. Okay. This is a little gold um, bangle with, I think these are just plastic prong set stones. Um, I'll just include that with the bangles. Not feeling too good about this, Swanee. <laughs> this is craft. Not even craft, that's trash. Uh, this little charm bracelet is from Vanessa Arizaga. I've never seen that tag before. Um, it is braided gold tone. I mean, this, I feel like this looks vintage, don't you think? <laughs> I'm getting like definite 80s vibes from this. Wow. Um, that is, those are shark jaws <laughs> and a smiley face. Um, there's a hand making that symbol. I don't know what that means. I hope it's not um, um, an obnoxious <laughs> symbol. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. Okay, this is Manhattan by Croton, a quartz watch. Different being orange and having the orange face with uh, gold sparkles in the middle. So hopefully I can get that working. And if I can, I mean, it's $5 as is or 10 with a new battery. This little guy, pretty brown faceted sparkly stones and it says it says Michael Kors but do you really think that's Michael Kors I don't really think that's Michael Kors I don't know there's another strange wood piece look at these beads though they're kind of neat um with another barrel clasp on it. So I'll do two if anybody's interested. Here's an earring, it's like a broken necklace. Some more mangles. Okay, so yeah, this is um, going to craft. I mean, I see that it can be reattached, but it's just not, not the best quality. So that's going to craft. Here is a little pendant. It does say 925 on it. it. Has this stone. Almost looks like Santa Claus down there. Um, so let's take a quick test. I'm not convinced that it is 925. So we'll do our scratch test on the bail. Yeah, I don't think that's 925, but we'll see. I'm going to use my 18K solution and see if that turns that milky blue color. And it does not. No, it's just eating that. So that's a faker. Um, so yeah, and it, it feels pretty cheap too. So I'm just going to put that in craft. Let's wipe our stone. Don't play with acid, kids. All right. We have this little cheapy ring that's going to craft for one dollar it just feels like plastic I mean, it does have that pretty stone but it you can see it's just like a tiny little sliver of a stone <laughs> ay 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 well well now this is just a whole set of bangles that is all intertwined so that makes for quite a statement on your wrist I'll do four on this set of bangles Let's see what 
else we have here. So this is a little pendant. It again says, it says 925 up here. I, I don't think it looks like 925. I guess we'll do another scratch test to see. Oh, now this actually does look like it might be 925. It's a nice bright silver color. And it is. So you can see that turned real bright quickly. So we like that. Um, so I guess it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's got a starfish and a sand dollar a shell and a dolphin. So maybe it goes to go this way. Yeah. And then you can slide your necklace through there and it will hang nicely on there. So I'll do five on that one. I do love that blue color that the silver turns on the stone. And it's always exciting to see that turn up. All right, here we have a bracelet, I think, necklace, anklet. I guess that could be a necklace, but wow. It, but it doesn't even have a latch on it to take it off. Um, so this is always in my heart, always in my heart. And it looks like this pinches. Um, no, I'm not sure why. And I feel like there's a mark on the inside there, but I cannot make it out. It seems like it could be silver. So let's give a quick scratch. No, it is not. Um, that's just going to craft because it's it's not in good condition. I'm not quite sure what that actually is. Dogs, you're being very noisy. Okay, let's see. This has the B for Brighton, but you need to get off this piece. Here we go. All right, so here's our first nice piece that does have the Brighton B here. And um, even though this is just embroidery yarn kind of feeling, like a silk cord with this smoky uh, faceted stone, very pretty, and it's in very nice condition. So let's get a measurement. Looks like it is seven inches, but does have um, an inch and a half extender. I'm gonna do 10 on that piece. Did we look at this one? I don't think we did. Um, so this is a fun charm bracelet. Has a watch there, or a watch, a watch face there. I don't know if it actually was a legit watch watch at one time but all these blue faceted stones some with a little bit of a b finish to them it's pretty and then has the pearl finishing and a big lobster clasp it is um i would say like seven to nine inches and that's kind of fun i'll do three on that it does have some wear to it so yeah just three this is another charm bracelet in blues with a starfish, a turtle, a shell, a starfish, a shell. There's a little fishy. Um, but I mean, it's all, it's all just plastic components. Like these don't even feel like they're metal. They feel almost like plastic. So that's just $2. That's very pretty, actually. This bracelet with uh, the rhinestone spacer and pearl finish. See how they finished that off? And it is in nice condition. So I'll do two on this one. 
by itself. Here we have another starfish. Uh, that does not come undone though, so you just have to sneak your, your wrist in there. Two dollars. <laughs> Why thread up? This is not a good one so far. Oh, here's that missing purple uh, cabochon, but it was craft anyway. All right. I feel like I got the beach themed um, jewelry. So another charm bracelet. I think, yeah, that's a real shell. These are Pandora-esque, um, but not Pandora. Here you've got a little whale. It's another shell. Oh, look at that cute octopus. So that's a fun little charm bracelet. Oh, there's a lighthouse too. Did you see that? Cute. And it is seven and a half to eight inches. I'll do five on that one. It is nice. Wow, that is an earring. This is just a plain uh, toggle bracelet, and it says RL there for Ralph Lauren. Um, yeah, that's in nice condition. Let's get a length on it for you. It is, yeah, right about that seven and a half, eight inches um, in length, and I'll do five on it in nice condition. There's another little, ooh, that one's, that one is little though. Let's see how far apart it is. Well, you know, like two and a quarter inches with clear stones. I'll do two if anybody would like that one. I'm putting all the plain bangles back there. Let's see what this bracelet is. It has a little charm. Oh yeah, it says Tiffany and Company, 925. I'm so sure. <laughs> oh, okay, although I did I did get real Tiffany um, in a thread up box recently. So I guess you never know, right? It does not look like it's pulling. So uh, let me see though. Are these soldered? Well, that is a soldered ring. How about over here? All right, maybe the quality is there. Let's give a little scratchy scratch. Uh, we'll actually do the links here. Looks pretty good. We'll do the clasp and we'll do this little dangle. Oops. Hard to grab it to scratch it. There we go. Let's get our acid. It is 925. So do you think I actually got amongst all of this other stuff a Tiffany's bracelet? That's puzzling. <laughs> so I'm going to have to um, research this bracelet, uh, which is seven inches, um, just to see. I don't even know if that's uh, like the style that Tiffany does, so. I'll research that and let you know on the screen what I've discovered. Here's another beachy charm bracelet, which is eight inches and it's silver tone with, um, oh, that's missing a stone there. That's a bummer. How about this? All the green stones are there. Cute crab. All the blue stones are there. A nice big uh, shell lobster closure. 
Um, so it is missing one stone, but I'll do four on that. What's this one? That's a pretty little two-tone bracelet with a fold-over clasp. And let's just see. Yes, that is pulling, so I don't think that it's precious metal, um, but it is seven inches and I'll do four dollars. Here's another BG uh, bracelet that is eight to nine inches in length. You got the crab, the seashell, a shell. That's a different kind of ball. Uh, there's a dangly shell, another shell, shell, another one of those balls, and a dangly shell. So I'll do four on this one. Oh look, there is a necklace to match the bracelet in the beginning. So I'll do two on this one. I don't believe it to be precious metal. Um, I mean, the charm definitely is not, but this necklace feels like it could be, but it's not marked. So I'll do a quick little scratch. Now it's all bronzy. So yep, $2. Our next beach charm bracelet is a stretch bracelet with all of these dangles. So you've got a real shell, a gold tone shell, real shell. There's a little turtle. Shells. Seahorse with some turquoise, how, dyed howlite, I would say. I don't think it's real turquoise and some pearls and like coral colored pieces. I mean, I don't think they're real. Let me just see if these pearls, no, they're not real. So I will do three on this one and you know, it is stretchy, so it has some give to it. Oh, this got all tangled up. If we can undo it, get it loose. And let's see. All right. So just a very dainty little pendant. Oops, I still got it looped around this angle. Um, it's not in fantastic condition, but you see that blush pink. And I don't know what this tag is. Do you recognize that one? I feel like I'm getting better with them, but I don't know that one, but it's not in great condition. So just a dollar craft. Um, here is just a craft item, BTC. Yeah. Earring. Oof. Got all kinds of earrings caught up in here. Let's get them out. That says coach. Oh. So hopefully we find the, uh, match to this one. Oh, <laughs> it's missing some of the sparkles on it. But if I find it, maybe it'll be worth uh, fixing. Oof. Okay, I know that I say that sometimes the good stuff is in the tangles, but I'm not sure about this one. So this just says 
I love New York. Uh, yeah, that is magnetic. All of this is magnetic, I believe. So, I think I'm, what is that? Is that magnetic too? I don't think it was magnetic, so. Oh, are you kidding me? That looks like it is real silver. Let's see. It sure is. So I'm going to have to try to untangle that uh, gunmetal color from the rest. But I will save that to see if we um, need a tangle break for other items, too. Um, this is just going to craft. Oh, here we have a tag, Charming Charlie tag. I don't know what it went with, though. Another bracelet. Now, this says 925 Italy. Really? Do you think it is? It's got a tennis ball, dice, a hard hat, a baby carriage, a ladybug, a car, and a hedgehog, and another dice. That is an interesting array, but it does not seem to be attractive. I mean, could all of this be sterling silver? That seems crazy. And scratch. Mm, not too sure about that. And let's see. Maybe I can get one of the dice. No, I don't think so. I think you're fake. Oh, I am dead wrong. <laughs> wow, that lit up right away. So I'm going to have to research this one. Um, because that is like heavy. So that could be a significant amount of sterling silver. Well, isn't that a nice surprise? All right. I forgive you, Georgia. I'm speaking that into the world. And this one is... Uh, has a little four leaf clover. This says, I love travel. Uh, and a little Eiffel Tower, a compass, um, a fleur de lis, a pine, pine tree, a plane. So a travel themed bracelet. Now, this I believe is. Yeah, drawn to the magnet, but let's just check these charms just to make sure. Wouldn't I be kicking myself? Maybe I'll have to check all the other bracelets more closely, but no, that is not sterling, so that is just going to be $4. All right, here we have a $38 price tag. Um on this thick choker necklace. Oh, here's some more of the beads. Oops. Let me see how long this is. It is 12 inches, but then it has this uh, like three and a half inch extension. And I believe it has rhinestones yeah and let's just check closely to see if they are all there I think they are all right that's nice um okay yeah I don't I don't think it's sterling um but I will do 10 on this piece. It's 
nice that it does have the tag. What do we have here? This says Victoria's Secret and it is a rose gold tone toggle bracelet. And I think the angel wings have gotten uh, wrapped around. So it has rhine, like pave rhinestone angel's wings on the one end. And let's get a length. It is seven inches. There's a little bit of wear so it's not in fantastic condition, but I'll do four on this bracelet. All right, this is a magnetic closure bracelet with the silver mat or like coil. Some of the coils are a little kinked up, but then it's got these gold. Um, oh yeah, that one's really kinked. Shoot, I love magnetic closure bracelets. Um, it is seven inches and I guess you wouldn't notice that when it's on. I'll do two on it though because of the kinks. Uh, this is just a little bracelet that is magnetic. So it's just going to go in craft. Here we have another, is this Brighton? No, I do not see a B on it, but it is Brighton-esque. Let's see if it's magnetic. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize I was out of the camera. Okay, it is. Let's just see if this is also. Oh, see, that looks like it might be sterling. And so let's rub part of this too. All right, so this is all sterling. You can see that blue, love it. Um, so I will do 10 on this bracelet and it is eight inches, $10. All right, here is our other coach earring which is in great condition so maybe they just got knocked out in this bag so we're going to keep our fingers crossed this is a really pretty rhinestone here all right yep i'm going to put them to the side oh look at this did i get a second tiffany's yeah, my luck can't be that good. So at least it's sterling, but I doubt it's Tiffany's. <laughs> um, here is a little ring that is Coach, I believe. C-O-A-C-H. But, I mean, it looks like it's broken here. And it's in really terrible condition. So it is a Coach ring. Um, but in terrible condition, size seven, um, I'm just putting that in craft for a dollar. Uh, actually, let me, would coach be, is it sterling? No, it is not. Okay. Um, oh. So this has a B for Brighton. So this little bracelet with all of these silver um, squares, I do think that I see brassiness shining through. So I don't know that they are sterling and I don't know much about Brighton to be honest. I don't know if all of their stuff is sterling. Oh, it looks like, I think it is.
Yes, it is. So that's good. Oh, sorry. And it is let's see, eight inches. Here we have a stretch bracelet. These are usually prone to um, pieces missing. Um, that looks like it tried to get loose, but it didn't. So I actually think that all of the pieces are there and it's not in terrible condition. So all these blues and oranges, ooh, ooh, ooh nope, that's a suspect. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna break. So $1 craft. Um, here is a coach pendant. Ooh, see the shine. There's coach. So I'm not sure how much to ask for that. So I'll put that on the screen. This tag says St. Thomas. Yeah, so I thought it might just be like a travel piece. Um, it looks like it's missing something down here too. Is this silver though? My goodness. It's turning out to be full. No, it's, <laughs> it's not silver. Um, oh, that's a pretty pendant um, with a brown stone with some pink flecks. Not sure what that would be. Uh, it does say 925 right there. I was thinking this might be sterling. Mm, that looks pretty gold, but let's give it a shot. Yeah, no, that just eats it away. Yep, so that's a faker. It is not sterling. Well, actually, let me scratch. Did I scratch that part? Yeah, it's, it's very gold. Yeah, that is not sterling. So you are a faker. I don't like that. I'm putting you in craft. <laughs> So that will just be $1 because I don't like selling anything with the fake mark on it. Oh, is this? Oh, no. I thought that might be missing from that other piece. Oh, please don't break. Ooh, check that out. Okay, hang on. First, yes, this was missing from the end of that um, St. Thomas piece. So just needs a jump ring, which I can easily add. So I guess I'll do three on that if anyone would like me to repair it. Um, here we have... goes. Okay, this is separate, but this is all together. Fabulous. Yep, there's the Leah Sophia tag, and it also says Leah Sophia on the back of this pendant, and that is beautiful. I hope all of the stones are there. I believe they are. So I'm going to do 10 on this piece. And let me get the length for you. It's seven inches with a like three inch extender. So $10. This says, uh, I'm not sure what it says. Hang on, I need my loop. Lori Bon, 925 Indonesia. So, ooh, pretty. 
um, but broken. Shoot. Well, let's see if it, it is not attracted to the metal. Um, that stone is kind of scratched up too. So let's get a read on these components. Not feeling 100% about it being sterling. Oops. All right, but it is. So you can see all of those pieces tested sterling. So at the very least, I can scrap this. We'll see if any other pieces of it turn up. All right, we have this cute little, um, like the potato pearls. Uh, they are not strung in between those, so I think, yeah, I, I, mm, I don't know, they feel gritty. So I think they might be real. And it is seven inches. The clasp does have a little bit of wear, but it's this toggle clasp. So I'll do five on that. Here we have a, another toggle clasp bracelet. And this says, Jamila, Jamila, Jamilia. I'm not familiar with that, um, but it has all of these glass beads. I think they're glass. Yes. Very pretty. Look at all those glass beads. I love them. And let's see, it is seven and a half inches. Do we need to test for sterling again? My goodness. Let's see. I do think it's sterling. Hmm. Yes, it is. It sure is. All right. So, honestly, like, I feel like these are really nice quality beads. So I'm going to look up a price on this. All right, this is going to craft. It's missing a whole bunch of stones there and is just super, super cheap feeling. Um, all right, here we have a coach keychain. It is missing a few stones right there, but I don't know if you noticed earlier, I did put one to the side here. I don't know if it might've come from here. I think it's a little big for these. So, um, and how do you undo this? Oh, so it just pulls out there. So I'm going to do 10 on this. Right. Oh, here's the rest of that uh, bracelet. So it needs to be soldered. So I'll look up the value on that. Why is this interlaced in here? That's odd. It's a toggle closure, so I don't know why that's laced in there. Hmm. So I don't know. I could ask my like if it's if this is a, a really good brand, then I could ask my jeweler to repair that. So I'll see what I find out about that. Um, here we have a pink themed 
uh, Pandora style bracelet. Okay, this one is magnetic, so I'm going to have to assume it is not sterling. It is not, um, but very cute nonetheless with the um, rhinestone discs and heart and faceted pink and glass. So I'm going to do five on this one. If you like charm bracelets, wow, was this a lot for you. This is already broken here, so it is going to craft. Um, it's missing some of the pinks. I think that was, I found one of those earlier. Let's see what we have here. All right, another beachy themed toggle clasp bracelet. And this one is like an antique um, turquoise and gold with the shells and um, discs. It's cute. Okay, yeah, it is magnetic. I'm going to do eight on this though. That is a lot of beautiful components. Here we just have a gunmetal necklace, which is uh, eight and a half inches, so it would be 17 total. I don't think, yeah, it says 925. I was going to say, I don't think it's drawn to the metal, so let's do a little test. This one does not look like it's fake. looks good. It certainly is 925. So I might hold on to that for, you know, a pendant or something. All right. Let me get rid of my acid. I'm seeing a bunch of stones floating around. I don't want to lose them. I like this little guy. That's a tiny one. Oh, goodness. All right. Earring. We're coming to the end here. Let's dump out the rest. And I don't know if I looked at these with you. This is just a craft item. And this says ML. I feel like I've seen that before. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of gross. So that'll just be a dollar. It is nice though. These faceted, like really light blue stones. Um, I don't know about this one. So it says fun. Star, bliss, um, but the stretch is is giving. So let's just see. Oh my gosh, is this sterling? Roxy, so cute. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna run out of 18k at this point. Okay, no, this is not sterling. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna put that in craft because again, the stretch is just about gone. All right, so we have this bracelet with all these fun faceted stones. They're a little scratched up. 
um, it's not in fantastic condition. I'm just going to do two on that. If you like the length on it, it is uh, seven and a half inches. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There you go. Seven and a half, right? Yeah. Oh, here we have another <clears throat> coach keychain. And it's got a starfish, that little fishy, 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 and the pail. So let me look up a price on that one as well. It's cute. Let's see. This beaded bracelet, no stretch, is just a dollar for craft. Um... This says coach as well, but I feel like it belongs on something. I don't know what. <laughs> another bangle. This, is this another fake 925? Okay, I don't see that it's marked anywhere. So that has like that uh, Dalmatian stone. I don't think it's sterling, but let's go ahead and test. That is not sterling. Um, but it also does not claim to be sterling. So I'll do three on this one. It's got a smoky stone up there. All right. Did we have something that was broken earlier? I can't even remember anymore. Was it this? Yes. Hang on, goes this way. So, without the earring. Oh, do you know what? Do you think that is? Do you think this is? Co I don't think this is Coach. Um, I'll have to clasp that. But that's a cute bracelet, actually. The matte gold, and it is eight inches. So I'll fix that, and we'll do five on it. And let's take a quick look at earrings, but I'm going to put all the little bits and baubles back in this bag. And then we'll also untangle our little uh, pile. Oh my goodness, these are so tiny. earrings we have besides these coach that we already looked at. I really like these wire wrapped earrings um, with the kidney hook. So I'm going to do four on those. That's a straight, well, unless these are supposed to go together. Um, single earrings. Wait. Oh my gosh, look at that. They are like blue leaves. So I'll do three on those. They're fun. Um, what is this? Almost completely overlooked this. But it does say 925. Can I get it to cooperate? China. Hmm. It is a pretty pendant. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is not. And that looks good for sterling. Yes, it is. So I am going to look that one up as well um, to give you a price on this sweet little pendant. 
I wonder, let's use our diamond selector and just see if it registers as a harder stone. We'll give that a minute to warm up. All right, so I have these plaid fabric covered earrings. I'm just gonna put them in craft. They look like they need to be cleaned and I'm not quite sure how you would do that. Um, so yeah, they're just a dollar if you'd like them. We have these earrings going with that beachy theme. They're cute. Do they say 925 on the wire? I don't think so. Um, oops, sorry. Oops. No, they are magnetic, just like my measuring tape. Uh, here, let's take a look at this stone. I like to at least get one on my tester. Oh yeah, look at that. I wonder if that's a topaz or something. So that is a nice find. All right. Um, we have these little solitaire clear faceted rhinestone hook earrings which I'll do three on, or I like wearing those myself, so just might keep them for myself. We've got gold and silver toned little hoops. Um, oh yeah, they're not, well, they have a little bit of wear. I'll just do two on those. We've got these little squiggles, two. Um, I didn't say a price on these, but I'll do two. Uh, these are, I guess they're just little, you just hook them through your ear to, um, we've got a pink and a blue and a fresh pearl. Oh, these are a match, right? Yes. Oh, I like those. I like those a lot. I might keep them. Let's see if they're magnetic. Oh, no, they are not. <laughs> I'm going to test everything now. That looks pretty good. So I think those are sterling. I think I'm going to be keeping those. Yes, they are sterling. All right, well, wasn't this the sterling lot? I'm not sure what this goes to. Um, wow. Oh, we still have this little mess of tangle that I need to do. All right, you guys, the treasure is in the tangles might be my motto. I might have to get that on a t-shirt or something because if you remember, I had that mass of tangles and it was magnetic. So I thought, I don't know if there's anything good in there. This piece is the magnetic one. All of the others are precious metal. Can you believe it? I was shocked. So this is an interesting piece that has um, like a bird on one end of the necklace and this flower on the other end of the necklace. Um, and I didn't see that they're marked sterling, but they did test as sterling. This I Love New York piece, which I dismissed. Um, when you see that a necklace has um, like multiple extender pieces in it like this, that usually means it's better quality. And this is actually a Jennifer Zuzner, Z Zuner piece. Here, let me pick this up so you can see that it is marked on the back, JZJ. So that is a Jennifer <clears throat> Zuner piece. And... Yeah, I'm sorry that I was rude to you, Jennifer. <laughs> it's a lovely necklace. Um, <clears throat> this was the first one that had piqued my interest because I did see the multiple um, extenders on it. I'm not sure exactly what that character is. Um, some kind of Chinese character, maybe. But again, also tested as sterling. This one um, must be Vermeil because... 
I believe it tested for sterling as well as this one. Even this <laughs> silly little smiley necklace. Here, wait, I'll take, I'll show you with the magnet that um, the, the class part is because of that spring in there, but all of these pieces are, are not magnetic. Even these earrings, which believe me were, these two pieces were the big reason for the tangles. Um, but even these earrings tested as vermeil. So a cute little pair of like firework earrings um, that tested as vermeil. So I think what I'm gonna do is for now, like I'm just gonna say, um, 10 for the earrings and 15 a piece for each of these necklaces. Um, this necklace will just be $2. And, oh, I did find a match to one of the triangle earrings, which will also just be $2. So that was very exciting. Like what a crazy twist of a lot that I definitely thought was destined almost all for craft. Um, but I hung in there and worked through the tangles. Even those charm bracelets, a lot of them surprised me. So yes, thank you for being here and I'll catch you next time.